13-year-old Melinda Colombo was just having fun, riding behind a girlfriend across an open field when their four-wheeler hit something and tossed Melinda. Well, I was laying on the ground and I wanted to get up, but I couldn't. So my friend went up to the house, told her mom. When they got the call, Melinda's mom and dad rushed to their daughter. My back hurt really bad. I couldn't move my legs. An ambulance was about to take her to the nearest community hospital in Mount Clemens, but her mother had no doubt. She wanted her to be treated by the best and decided Melinda needed the special care delivered at the Children's Hospital of Michigan. They took us, we went straight to emergency and they start running tests on her. Um, you know, kept checking her vitals and everything else. We were in the operating room pretty late. I mean, we were on our eighth surgery and we got a phone call about her. Dr. Walid Yasser, Assistant Chief of Pediatric Orthopedic Surgery at Children's, had Melinda's x-rays displayed in the OR. Right away, I knew that we had a big problem on our hands just looking at the film. Now, on the x-rays, I could see that she had a bad spinal fracture. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'd heard that her, you know, one of her legs was paralyzed. Finished with his surgery, Dr. Yasser found Melinda in the MRI scanner. Her spine was, had been destabilized by the fracture had been bent forward and the uh, spinal cord was being basically pushed up against uh, the bones of the, uh, of the spinal column. Uh, and I knew that we had to do something for her pretty quickly. In the waiting room, the doctor spoke with the worried parents. I just showed up and said, uh, hi, we need to go to surgery right now. And so it took some, it took some convincing. But her parents understood the need to move quickly. In surgery, Dr. Yasser and his team exposed Melinda's spine and inserted 10 screws, five on each side. And we put these screws in through what's called the pedicle, uh, and the spinal cord's running right through the center. We put one screw on either side, uh, sort of going down in this area into the vertebral body in the front to try to stabilize it and get you very good uh, control over it. That immediately took the pressure off the spinal cord. Now, it was wait and see, while Melinda rested to regain her strength and movement. Meanwhile, the Columbos never left their daughter's side. And they brought dad in an extra chair. They reclined, so he slept there and I slept on the couch. But within a few days, Melinda began to improve, enough to begin physical therapy. She progressed well, even surprising her therapists. Everybody was really, really nice. I was really, really excited that I could stand. And then, like, I felt more encouraged to like walk. After more than a month, Melinda, who feared she may be paralyzed for life, was ready to go home and resume a normal life that included more than just walking. Well, I've danced for a long time before. I was kinda disappointed that like I couldn't do it anymore. But then like I gradually got better. So then like I'm dancing now, so. I think Melinda can look forward to uh, a terrific normal life after this. I mean, I think this is not going to be a problem for her. She's regained essentially complete function in that leg. She's got normal muscle strength. She's got normal movement. Um, her, uh, her spinal cord is stabilized. And uh, I think that uh, she can move on from this and never really have to look back. Children's is the place to send your kid. You want good results, you get them. Visit us here at dmc.org to learn more about the Pediatric Orthopedic Department or to make an appointment with Dr. Yasser and his fine team at DMC's Children's Hospital of Michigan. For the Detroit Medical Center, I'm Emory King.